Earlier this year, the Open Championship took place, and neither Tiger Woods or Roy McIlroy had won it. McIlroy has voiced out a possible reason for this, saying that he gave Tiger Woods COVID before the Open Championship. What details do we have about this? Also, the upcoming Hero Challenge presents an opportunity for the current low-ranking Tiger Woods to have a high jump through the ranks. Keep watching for details about this. Firstly, Rory McIlroy and Tiger Woods are launching a new golf league with numerous celebrity investors. The new Saudi-sponsored golf league, Live Golf, presented challenges for the PGA Tour earlier this year. Despite being warned of consequences from the PGA's end, about 50 players switched from the PGA to Live. Even if the money for the competition originates from the highly contentious public investment fund of Saudi Arabia, Live's appeal is undoubtedly helped by the allure of less tough competitions, higher awards for all finishers, and sizable contracts. And it's possible that more players will join as the league includes more events the following season. There will soon be another golf league, but it won't be attempted to rival the PGA Tour. During the Tour Championship in August, Tiger Woods and Rory McIlroy announced the creation of their company, TMRW Sports. More information about the pair's new TGL league has now been provided. Beginning in January 2024, players will compete on six three-man teams during a 15-week period that consists of regular season games and a playoff. The TGL will be entirely virtual, unlike the PGA Tour and live golf competitions. A simulator will be used during the matches for longer shots, and a real green area will be used for putting and chipping. The list of investors in Woods and McElroy's company is a veritable who's who in the sports industry. The biggest celebrities getting a piece of the new company are Steph Curry, Serena Williams, and Lewis Hamilton, though they are by no means the only ones. Chris Paul, Jason Tatum, and Andre Iguodala from the NBA have all made investments. Tony Romo and Josh Allen, two NFL quarterbacks, have as well. Trey Turner of the MLB and Andy Murray, the Grand Slam champion, are also among them. Even non-professional sportsmen have made investments in TMRW Sports, including Arthur Blank, owner of the Atlanta Falcons, and Justin Timberlake. The distribution of the stakes is unknown, despite the fact of the fusion of sports and technology has long been a mainstay of many portfolios. Additionally, the business might provide a significant payoff for everyone involved due to the star power of both Woods and McElroy. Woods will take part in TGL competitions, according to McElroy. As he heals from an automobile accident that occurred in February 2021, it allows him to play competitively again. Since sustaining those injuries, Woods has only participated in very few competitions. He might receive a mental and physical push from a virtual showcase to return to the full course. It must at least be a great feeling to know that so many celebrities support your product more than a year before it debuts. Next up, items that Tiger Woods signed go up for auction. This year's auctions have already seen the sale of one of Woods' backup putters and the irons he allegedly used to win the Tiger Slam. The irons set the record for the most money ever paid for a piece of golf memorabilia, fetching a record $5 million. The putter that Woods autographed sold more than $300,000. Now, a glove that Woods wore during his best performance, as well as one of his recognizable red shirts from Augusta National and another putter that once belonged to Woods are up for auction. Woods also added his signature to all three products. Woods wore the glove while winning the 2000 US Open at Pebble Beach by a margin of 15 shots. Shortly after putting out on the 72nd hole, according to Golden Age Auctions, Woods signed the glove and added the date 61800. Woods gave his caddy, Steve Williams, the autographed glove. Woods participated in the 2010 Masters Finals round while sporting the red shirt, placing fourth. According to the Upper Deck Certificate of of authenticity, one of the company's employees witnessed Woods sign the shirt, and the item was legally procured directly from Tiger Woods. The putter is a Nike method, a design that Woods utilized in 2010. The putter was given to a 2014 charitable auction by Woods' longtime agent, Mark Steinberg. Although it is unknown whether Woods actually used the putter in competition, it is thought that this is the first occasion when a product directly from Woods' squad has been offered at auction. Tiger Woods might have the biggest career OWG GR rise at Hero. World number 1266, Tiger Woods, is most likely not accustomed to having that prefix before his name. The opportunity to make the biggest single jump of his career next week at the Hero World Challenge comes with sitting at the lowest ranking he has achieved in his 30 years of competing in events that are eligible for the official World Golf Ranking. Woods Hero, which is not a PGA Tour event, but has since 2009 provided world ranking points, featured a star-studded lineup of 15 
15 of the top 20 golfers in the world. Particularly when recovering from injuries, Woods has frequently used the event as a form of test run. In fact, at the 2017 edition, he saw his career's largest ranking rise. With a T9 finish that week, he rose 531 ranks from a low of 1,119 to 668. He might surpass that jump if he succeeds this week. With a victory in the Bahamas, according to Twitter's OWGR whisperer Nosferatu, Woods would climb into the top 250 in the world. This represents a move up to more than 1,000 positions. The 20-man hero field was excluded from this year's OWGR formula due to its size restrictions, but Woods' exceptionally low ranking and the strength of the field will still give rise to the prospect of a huge climb. Woods only made three starts this past year and only managed to one finish. A 47th place showing at the Masters, his first competition since suffering significant injuries to his right leg in a vehicle accident in February 2021. The majority of people just want Woods to get through the 72 holes with minimal agony, but hey, this dude won the US Open on one leg and then won another major 11 years later. Woods has won the Hero five times, he founded it in 2000 to raise money for his foundation, he hasn't won the trophy though since 2011. The competition served as somewhat of a forecast of things to come for Woods, who after his victory in 2011 ended a winless streak of more than two years on the PGA Tour in 2012 and following a strong showing in 2017 ended a five year winless streak in 2018. The PNC father son challenge with his son Charlie and the match six with Rory McIlroy, Justin Thomas and Jordan Spieth are the two additional events that Woods has scheduled for the next month, but neither of them will grant him further ranking points. According to Rory McIlroy, before the Open Championship, he gave Woods COVID. Rory McIlroy and Tiger Woods could have an explanation for why they didn't win the Open earlier this year, even if neither would probably ever use it. It was reported by McIlroy in an interview with The Independent that he and Woods caught COVID-19 soon before the 150th Open at St. Andrews. McIlroy stated that Woods needed some downtime on Wednesday. The intention was to play Bally Bunyan on Thursday after playing golf at Andre Manor for two days. He said that he was a little sore when he got up that morning, but he didn't really think much of it. He then said that JP McManus gave them his helicopter and they rode down with Rob McNamara, Tiger's manager, and Sean O'Flaherty, who manages McElroy. He said that they traveled without any incident, flew back to Adar for lunch, and as he stood up from the table, he was incredibly weary, stiff, and warm out. McElroy then said he told his wife Erica that he was feeling a little strange and was just going upstairs to take a short nap. After maybe two hours of sleep, he was drenched in sweat, and when Erica took his temperature, it was quite high. He then called Tiger and said that he was not feeling so well, but Tiger replied, saying that he felt fine. McElroy continued by saying that when Tiger texted him that evening at 10 o'clock, complaining of chills and a fever, he was like, damn, he just gave Tiger COVID, and that it was terrible. McElroy then said that they both had COVID-19 going into the open. McElroy remained mum on whether Woods or he had ever undergone COVID-19 testing, although they didn't record the results they hoped for. Despite their pre-tournament illness, it was a memorable week for both of them. The 15-time major champion Woods failed to make the cut. A legendary moment, meanwhile, occurred as the 46-year-old crossed Swilkin Bridge in round two to a standing ovation, with many speculating that this might be Woods' final open championship at the old course. McElroy, meanwhile, came close to breaking an eight-year winless streak in major championships. Although he had the 54-hole lead, the Northern Irishman came in third. In December, when they team up to compete in the march against Jordan Spieth and Justin Thomas, McElroy and Woods will be in tight quarters once more. That brings us to the end of this video. What was your reaction to finding out that Rory McElroy might have given Tiger Woods COVID? What other topic do you want us to feature? Let us know through the comment section. Please like the video and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Subscribe.